Peggy 16. Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin, the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse, along with something far more terrifying. What is good, my killers? It is your boy, B-Man the fucking killer, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Just to disclose something very quickly, um, the footage that you see here is not mine. This is actually someone else's by the name of Giggs. Um, his link to his channel will be down in the description down below. Um, he basically got a chance to uh, play the uh, new DLC for the Destiny 2 uh, content, so uh, if you happen to come across my channel you recognize this footage uh, that's actually where it's from his link is in the description down below uh, i did credit him uh, mr gigs if you happen to catch this or anything like that i am not monetizing this i am not big of enough of a channel to do that i just simply wanted to just provide some kind of video as well as uh some kind of like visual effects for my video all i am simply doing is to give my thoughts of the trailer uh, if you happen to see that so, that being said, um, back to you, my people. What's good with y'all? I'm back again with another video for you guys. So, let's just get this out the way. That fucking trailer was fucking sick. Oh, my God. I can't even fucking lie. I was like, God damn. Now, a couple things that stuck out to me. One, that bitch bad. I ain't gonna lie to you. The chick bad. I don't know who that is, but if I have a guess, I think it's the one chick that's, uh, I think that was trained under, um, or that was trained by, uh, K6, if I'm not sure. My Destiny Lord is very terrible, but I do love the game, but if, if that's her, man, she is fine as hell, but... I gotta say, the it looks good though. I I'm I'm really hoping that this DLC is gonna be way. It looks like the DLC is gonna be way better than how it was with the Curse of Osiris because I felt like the Curse of Osiris could have done a little bit better. But from what from what is looking and how it's showing, it looks like it's gonna be really good. And <laughs> like I said, this is Mr. Geeks's uh his experience with the DLC and such like that. And I gotta say, it looks really fire. And I gotta say, like I'm 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 hyped for it too. So with that being said, um, also I have a little bit of information that I want to provide for that. That link as well, where I got it from, will be in the description down below as well. Just wanted to just give my thoughts and kind of give up some information. So season three, and also the DLC War of Mine will actually come out on all platforms: PS4, Xbox One, and PC on May 8th, which is really soon. Um, this place actually will take place on Mars, as you see in the video. Um, also, you will actually be getting new exotic weapons and armor, as well as I think the light level or the power level will increase to 385, which is actually good. Um, and I hear that it's going to be a little bit more grinding than usual, kind of like sort of with Destiny 1. So um, that's also another good thing. Um, you also have 
an event called the Escalation Protocol. It's pretty much like a public event, but the only way you can unlock this is if you happen to beat the campaign. But if someone already actually beat the campaign, you can actually join theirs and do it with them, which is actually a good thing. That's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have a set schedule or when to start. It just kind of happens randomly because, you know, most public events, they have like a set time. But it does not provide that. Um, I don't know if that's part of the game or they will actually clarify on that. And you actually go against seven waves of enemies. Each wave actually has a boss. Uh, I think between the third and fifth wave, you're actually going to get rewards. But the final reward, the actually reward reward, the, 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 the loot boot, will actually come at the last one. Uh, I heard that each one is actually going to get harder. So uh, that kind of makes sense. Kind of like with the... Kind of with the uh, I think what it's called in Destiny 1. I think it was called the... Not Charles of Osiris. I don't know why that came out in my head. I think it was the uh, Prison of Elders. Kind of like that. The whole Prison of Elders thing from uh, Destiny 1. Kind of that kind of field. So, yeah. That being said. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I can find. Like I said, I'll put the link for the whole article that I find in the description. If you want to check it out and get furthermore. Uh, that will be down below as well as Mr. Giggs channel. Check him out. He's a big uh, Destiny YouTuber. Uh, like I said, uh, check him out. Show him support. Everything like that. And with that being said, I'm out. You guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be many cow peace. Love you guys. Yeah, the rebels, nigga, we the fucking best. Y'all don't want it, y'all can't want it, y'all shouldn't want it. We the worst opponent. Got so much saying, got so many problems, got so many haters. They the motivators. I'm a cake chaser, not a whole chase. I'm a money maker.